Hey Jazz Heads, it's Friday morning. Um, I had a really good session with my youth big band last night. Our programme for our Hearts Jazz Festival gigs starting to really come together. In our listening, we were on to letter K, so we listened to some BB King, uh, and that went down really well. Listen to a bit of blues. So today's task is a much overdue clean for all my horns. So I thought it'd be an opportunity for you to see that how that process works and I will take you through what I'm currently using in terms of my equipment. So the first horn that's going to be going in is my commercial horn that I play when I go and play uh, pop music and the Blues Brothers show uh, and anything where I need to play sort of a lead trumpet and need to really cut through. Uh, so this is a Yamaha Custom LA uh, 8335 LA, the Wayne Bergeron model. Um, I've been playing this about a year. It's an absolutely beautiful horn. I love the finish on these. Uh, it's got this like gold lacquer finish, which is really, really cool. It looks beautiful, look at that. Um, so yeah, I picked this up about a year ago. Uh, I traded in, I was on a Smith Watkins before and I traded in my Smith, my, uh, Smith Watkins for this. I mean, that Smith Watkins had, had 20 years of, it wasn't, I hadn't bought it new and it had 20 years of professional abuse in it. Um, but yeah, this plays beautifully and it really, really opens up, really sizzles in the top register. It's got a big bell on it. Really nice, really nice bore. Uh, you can shift a hell of a lot of air through this thing, it's really cool. Uh, oh, the other thing is worth it, I've also then got some custom finger buttons for it. Look at these babies. Uh, I got these custom made in the States uh, and shipped over here uh, and they look absolutely gorgeous, look at those. Uh, so, I'll be taking the valves out of all of these horns uh, just because there's lots of felt and uh, springs and stuff that we don't want to get wet, really, really wet, like in the bath, wet. They're not really that dirty, these valves. Uh, looking pretty good. Uh, I'll probably just give them a run through with a cloth. <laughs> leave that in about 20-25 minutes uh, so just enough time for me to pop into town and do a few bits um, oh one thing I forgot no bath is complete without bath toys so Donnie's gonna go in there and keep the trumpet company <laughs> that one done leaving that one to dry for a little bit so next up in the bath we have my uh, jazz horn which is a Geneva uh, which is a UK company um, this is what they call their Josh Ole model I don't know if they still make these anymore uh, certainly not like this I don't think uh, in raw brass but it's really heavy really heavyweight really heavyweight so it's got a huge thick lead pipe on it 
uh, with obviously it's wrapped in this metal here is copper um, and then it's got sort of nickel on there yellow brass yellow brass in the valves and the bell is red brass uh, not a particularly big bell um, but it produced a really lovely dark sound but I've had this 10 years now um, it's starting to show its age a little bit now um, it's got the best valves I've ever ever come across on any trumpet the best valves um, it's the first horn I ever bought first professional custom horn I ever bought uh, so I love it a lot um, and I don't think I'd ever switch away from it um, perhaps if a really nice vintage bark came up a good one uh, this might see longer time in the case but um, yeah a few battle scars on it but it's a beautiful, beautiful horn. Check them out in Geneva, they're really nice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave that one in a little bit longer because it's raw brass and that is really dirty. That has got a good 12 months worth of grime on it. So that's the custom LA dump. She's looking very, very shiny now. Those valve tops are looking great. Uh, here's a little tip. After you put your slide grease on, it's a bit stiff. Pop a little drop of valve oil in with it. A little fizz. Maybe you can see the fizz. And then it'll loosen it right up. There we go, it stops it being stiff. Useful tip as well. Right, on to the Geneva. Okay, so last in the bath, we have the flugel. This is a beautiful, beautiful horn. Uh, this is the uh, sister to my uh, Geneva jazz trumpet. This is a Geneva as well. Um, here's what they call a platypus. Beautiful, it's in raw brass. Again, amazing valves on this thing. Beautiful playing horn. Look at the size of that bell. Huge. Um, this one is, again, I've got this second hand. So it's now probably about the same age as the trumpet probably eight or so years old maybe probably needs to go for a bit of a replate um, so I think a bit of replating on this will make it look absolutely stunning again um, yeah anyway this one's next in the bar show you um, the two two trumpets that I have uh, cleaned and that I own today so this is the um, this is the custom LA it's going to produce a really nice bright sizzly sound in the top register so for example whereas the Geneva this is a jazz horn. I can feel the weight already. It's so much heavier. Uh, much more suited to sort of a smoky jazz sound.
So some of that has to do with the mouthpiece choice, obviously. Uh, however, I've put this big ass jazz mouthpiece in the custom LA. Um, you can still hear it still has a big, it still has a brighter sound to it, a zingier sound, even I play the same passage. So it's actually almost got a bit, possibly even a slightly bigger sound. It's got a slightly bigger bell. This other one has a bit more of a, just a sort of a medium bell to it. Um, at the moment, I'm, as I said, I love this horn. I'm finding it a bit stuffy at the moment. I really like the sound that I'm making on that, but I'm not sure it's quite meaty enough for a small band jazz gig for me. For me, I know other people have like famously Alex Sipiagin before he moved. He's playing on an old custom LA. Uh, but man, that guy must sound brilliant on anything. Um, so I think it's possibly a mouthpiece change for me. So maybe there's going to be an episode there uh, where we're going to have a mouthpiece change. Hopefully, you've enjoyed me taking you through my horns and uh, seeing the process of cleaning them. Um, yeah, subscribe.